trying to get a read on the exact name of the department who is engaging in this heroic rescue. I'm overcome and overwhelmed by the bravery, the heroism, and the training we are watching. This is training at its finest. Our first responders put their lives on the line every day, and they are there in that instant. They are the 911 call that people in distress and need who are watching their lives flash before their eyes as they are dangling over a bridge. These are the heroes, and we are watching a heroic rescue in action. God bless these first responders. All right, so we got close there again to the lip of the bridge. We are unaware um, about what keeps them back, if that's wind, if that's gravity, if it's what, what they're trying to do. Can they bring him in with some other sort of ropes as we watch this? This started not long ago, 12.04 p.m. Eastern. It's 12.42 and 10 seconds Eastern right now. So they've been working at it for a while, but not too long. Um, and, and again, they're struggling to get them back to the lip of the bridge. And look at the man off to the left center, and he's pulling up on those ropes. So, so this harness situation, they're trying to pull him in as if they were mountain climbing, but had fallen off the mountain. I, I'm going to guess it probably feels that way. Kaylee, what do you see? You know, I, I'm just putting my mind in the mind of this truck driver. I, I can't tell from this angle whether it's a man or a woman, but I just imagine someone who was doing their job on a Friday, perhaps thinking about going home to their family, and then your truck goes off the side of a bridge and you think it's the end, but the ingenuity of America's best, our first response,